What's good, good people? We are back at it with another video. If you don't know this about me, uh, I'm vegan. I made a decision a short time ago uh, that I wasn't going to contribute anymore to the destruction of life. Since being on this journey, I was lucky enough to have a wife that's been vegan before so she can run me through all the ins and outs of it. And one of the first things that she told me is don't call myself vegan. At least not yet until I get into the full fledge of it. So right now I'm going to just say I'm plant-based. Yeah. So with saying I'm plant-based, that means I consume no animal products, which means that all my proteins, all of my macros come from plants. Don't say anything about my hair. I know I didn't brush. I look, look. It's early in the morning, you know what I'm saying? I ain't brushed my hair, but I had to come down here and prep my meals, okay? So, bear with me. But on to the next thing. Really, man, like, I was kind of scared to first go vegan because it's a lot of stuff that I was attached to, you know, during my time when I wasn't. Now, cutting out meat, that's, that ain't no thing because I was a vegetarian for a year. But the reason I couldn't go full-fledged vegan was because I love cheese. Cheese is a big addiction for me. And, like, trying to let that go was like trying to let go of crack. Of course, I, 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 I never tried crack, though. Don't get it twisted. But anyway, to the base of the video today, I'm going to walk you through a recipe that you guys can try at home if you want to, you know, just try out some vegan recipes. You don't even have to go full-fledged vegan or vegetarian. You can just have, like, um, a meatless Monday. You know what I'm saying? Just... You know, just try it out. But I would say, if you want to feel the best you've ever felt in life and feel light and, like, you don't wake up groggy, it's, you got to, I, I would say at least try this. I, I would say at least try going meatless, going vegan for seven days. Try it for seven days. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you're going to feel a lot different. Okay, so basically, you know, I put some curry seasoning on some chitique, uh mushrooms right here. You know what I'm saying? Get that real seasoned up and looking good. You know what I'm saying? It's really going to add a lot of flavor to this dish. And I got the baby arugula. It is great for any salad. You know what I'm saying? Now I got the, the black rice, man. The, the, the real bad man rice right here, man. You know, I don't do the process thing. I don't do the process thing. I, I hit the real all natural. Look at it, all natural, real bad man rice. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Black man. So, typically for uh, this curry uh, recipe, I usually use, you know, like the rice and beans, you know, like, you know, a little Jamaican vibe, but like, I ain't got, I ain't got the, the stuff, so it's just gonna be rice, uh, black rice. Um, I'm gonna have my arugula salad along with the uh, curry chicken, aka the shatik uh, mushrooms, with the curry seasoning and everything, and we're gonna cook all that up, and then it's gonna be a meal, and it's gonna be great. Now, for those of you who don't know how to cook mushrooms for it to be like a a meat substitute, you always say, you know, I cook the mushrooms, but like they always come out soggy, slimy. That's because mushroom holds a lot of water. So what you got to do is when you're cooking them, you got to cook them on a hot. I'm talking about turn your eye on high. Put the mushrooms in there and put something on top to compress them. It's going to squeeze out all the moisture. The moisture is going to evaporate. And once it evaporates, then you'll have that consistency of the, the meat texture that you're looking for. Okay. And also a mistake that a lot of people make when cooking mushrooms is putting butter or, I mean, well, if this is going to be a vegan meal, you can't put butter. But um, putting like any kind of oil in the pan that's a big mistake because it's going to resist the water a little bit. So it's still going to, your mushroom's still going to be full with water and it's going to be soggy. It's not going to give you that texture you like. So no oil or anything in the pan. Just put the mushroom that right up in the pan. So me, I personally use another pan to put on top of it. 
I add the right amount of weight that I need for it to, you know, stay there and squeeze all the moisture out. And then once it evaporates, you get it. Okay, now that everything is done, we're going to start assembling this thing. And portion size does matter, so you can't eat too much, you know. Being on, being on a vegan or vegetarian diet, you consume a lot of carbs uh, due to the excess amount of fruit, grains, and, and things that you'll eat. So you got to watch it. You got to get your macros right if you want to be healthy, okay? So first thing is measuring out everything. So what we're going to do is get a cup. See that right there? I'm going to get a cup of rice. There it is. I got the cream color bowl because I like the contrast. Next, you want to put your greens in there. Uh, on top, that's baby kale. Underneath, that's the uh, baby arugula that I showed you guys earlier. And last but not least, you put your curry mushrooms. Look at that. That thing is beautiful. Woo! And if you want to add cheese but still keep it vegan, you can add some of this. This chow creamery. You can't tell the difference between that and real cheese. I'm telling you, and it's all plant-based. I love it, man. But if you guys want to learn more vegan, vegetarian uh, recipes, uh, hit me up in the comments below, and I will come with more videos for you. Peace. Hey, hey, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If any one of you be in my comment section and you like and you don't subscribe, I'm going to find out where you live, and I'm going to smack the shit out of you. Not for real, but like in GTA though. Like for real, like, like don't 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 play with me. Like I, I'm nice, but I ain't that damn nice. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all like my mellow voice and shit, but like things can't really get active. You know what I'm saying? Bye.